Welcome to this Wonderbuild tutorial. In this video, we're going to look at the quote request feature, which allows you to prepare a quote proposal document to send to the client once you've prepared a estimate or costing in the software. So what you want to do is go to your estimations, select the estimate that you want to prepare the quote proposal for. Let's use this one as an example. And then once you're in that estimate, you click the preview button here. And what that does in the background is that it starts generating the quote proposal based on the data from your costing and also any data that you may have within the specification as well. That can also be brought into the quote proposal document. So we'll let this load up. Sometimes if you do have a lot of data and line items within the estimate, it can take a bit longer to load. Okay, so this is loaded up now. Now this is Wonderbuilt standard template, but this is all fully customizable. So let's just scroll through it and then we'll have a look at how we can customize it as well to suit your own business. So you've got a cover page here. This text can be changed here and you can put in your own company details here, which will automatically populate. The footer can also be customized. We've got a cover letter section, which again, this can also be customized. And this is our costing section. So what this will do is bring in all the costing data from our estimate within the costing section into this quote proposal template. But again, this can all be customized as well. And you can decide how much information you'd like to show the client, or you may decide that you don't want to show them any of this costing information at all. So this is all fully customizable. And again, like I mentioned, this is just the standard template that comes within the system that you can use, but I'd recommend you customize it to suit your own business. So once we finish from the costing section, you can see the specification also comes up. And again, this is fully customizable and you can import your own specification template with whatever information you may have. And this will uh, automatically come up into your quote proposal. So let's scroll past the specification. And again, this is pretty detailed because this has just brought in all the cost categories with, within this estimate. Here we've got an allowances section. So wherever we've noted, or I should say toggled on our allowance within the costing as either a prime cost, provisional sum or general allowance, it'll show in this section. So I would usually include these in a quote proposal so the client can see the allowances that have been made and the costings that you do want to show them. Notes can also come up. So if you've made notes within uh, your costing, they'll also come up here. So again, you can decide whether they're notes that you'd like to show the client or if they're your own personal notes from the costing, then you can again, customize this and toggle off the notes section so that it doesn't show in the quote proposal. There's summary section as well, which summarizes all the costs from the costing. And again, you can show as much or as little as you like to the client by toggling on or off a few of the options within the uh, customization section of the quote proposal, which I'll show you next. There's also a section for terms and conditions where you can add in your own information and then the final quote acceptance sign off page. So again, talking about the customization, what you do is once you're in the preview section here, you would hit this customize button and this is where you can go to each section and customize the quote proposal, how you'd like it to be for your business. So everything from the colors 
what you, we'd usually do is match the color to your company logo or branding. The cover as well in terms of the theme can also be changed. So again, this is a template, so we can't change this, but if I was to select one of my own custom templates here, and you could change the, the theme of this, this cover page here, and also the text that can also be changed as well. You can change the quote expiry date, which then changes that expiry actual date here in the footer. Then you can also add in your own image there and also an image for uh, your logo up the top here as well. So we've got our footer, like I mentioned, you can add in your own custom values here and they will appear in the footer. If I go to the cover letter now, you can see that this is just a standard letter text that Wonderbuilds populated into here. But again, this can all be changed and you can also actually expand this here and uh, type in your own uh, cover letter information. Another handy feature is this template values. So uh, you can automatically populate uh, the text with um, custom values uh, from your system. So you can see here, for example, it says dear client's first name in these brackets. So this will populate with the client's first name, which you've added in when you created the estimate in the first place and also your own name. So that would automatically populate based on whoever's preparing or logged into the system to prepare this quote proposal. And then when we go to the costings, If I scroll down to the bottom here, you can see we've got all these options of the display that you can toggle on or off. So you might decide that you don't want to show any of this costing information in your quote proposal. So you just toggle this off here. Otherwise, if you did want to show the costing information, and you do have the option to toggle some of these display options on and off, and you can customize that to show as much or as little of the costing information that you want to display to the client. You've got our allowances. So again, this will bring up any prime cost or provisional sum or just general allowances that you've allowed in the costing. They'll come up in this section here. And again, you've got display options as well in terms of the information you, you want to show the client or don't want to show the client. Specifications. So that will bring up the specifications that you've assigned to this estimate. And I'll just show you how we get those in here as well. So under the estimation, you've got this option here for specifications. So if we click there, uh, you can see these are all uh, some of the specification categories that I used uh, matched in with the same cost categories that I use as well. But yeah, if you don't have any template already saved, and I'll show you how that works from the templates menu. So settings, templates, and if I go to specification, that's where I've got my custom specification template saved, which you could then import into this particular estimate by hitting import from template. But if you're creating it from scratch, you would just add a category here and then you could go in and type in those items, whatever was related to this estimate uh, under the specification section here. But I would usually suggest that you do have a template saved. So it saves you from having to uh, type in uh, a specification each time you're preparing an estimate but back to this quote preview here. So this is where the specification information would populate and yeah, not as many display options here, but you've got the option obviously from this specification section here to decide what you want to display and to customize it from this window here, which will then bring it into your quote proposal template. Notes as well, if you decided you want to show the client the notes from your costing, you could customize that from here. And 
there's also the summary page where again this is where you could either show the client all the cost line item information for each cost category or you could toggle this off and you may decide just to show them um, one final line item as the cost which you do by toggling these category and category totals off here and then that will just show them one final line item at the end here and then the last couple we've got our terms and conditions which again you can just add in your own custom terms and conditions in this window here and the final section is this quote acceptance page and again add in your own information here and you can also change the title if you want to change that to something else and you can also change the title for each of these sections so uh, if you wanted to call this something else um, you could just type that different information here uh, and again it's not letting me uh, change the information or the title in this template because this is the uh, inbuilt system template but if I was to pick one of my own template I could then go in and change that title information uh, when I've gone into one of my own templates here. And then once we're happy with our quote proposal as it's showing, we've got a few options where we can print that off and save as a PDF, or we can also send that directly to the client uh, from the system here. And then you've also got the option to customize the body of the email and the subject line by selecting uh, email templates as well. So uh, you could, uh, let's see here, we've got our proposal and yet yeah, if you've uh, created your own email templates, you can also insert them in to the um, email here and then they'll automatically populate. So you can uh, have the same information and be consistent with how you're sending off the wording of your quotes to each of your potential clients. That concludes this wonderful tutorial on how we prepare a quote proposal. Please stay tuned for the next video.